today's video features Minnie Mouse. So I'm gonna make, well, I'm gonna make one of two things. I'm either gonna make a cool bottle stopper or I'm gonna make something that I throw in the trash. And what it is, this way, dusty, Pez dispenser. I took a Pez dispenser. Now keep in mind, this was probably a year ago, maybe longer, I don't know. Might have been last Christmas. Let's call it last Christmas. Because um, I have a Santa, so I'm sure it was around that time. But I got some Pez dispensers. I cut it off. And I glued it into a cup, as you can see here. And this one doesn't have resin in it. But what I did was I cast it in resin. Now this Mickey, or Minnie, I think it's Mickey. I don't know if it'll show up, but there's actually bubbles seeped out of the top where the two plastics met. The bubbles seeped up right there. And it kind of looks cool. It looks like those little thought bubbles. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So I don't think it'll hurt this project and it's kind of a test anyway. So I'm not worried about the bubbles like I normally would, but this actually was under pressure even, but it still managed to get out. So I'm gonna make a bottle stopper using this block that I made. I'm gonna do this stand up type and it's a cool little bottle stopper. It's short, they stand up, so when you have your turn project, you can stand them up and, and they look cool that way. Now for years, I've always used this as my mandrel. This is a bolt that had the same threads as the bottle stopper. And I cut this out of a piece of acrylic or some scrap. And that was my basically my guide for uh, whatever I was turning and I would make different sizes. Now what's really cool is on turners we just added these actual mandrels. And I think the reason these are going to be so much nicer is obviously there's a lot more to hold on to than my old bolt method. And these are interchangeable sizes from one three quarter and five eighths inch for all the different sizes. So now I've got one that'll line up to the bottle stopper. So That'll be really cool to have that to use. So really quick to get started, I'm gonna go ahead and drill the bottom of this, tap it using the tap that'll fit the mandrel, and then I'm gonna go ahead and chuck it up on the lathe and get started. Oh, yep, that's the spot. Actually, I should be kind of thinking about this a little more. The nose really sticks out on this, so maybe I wanna move it forward. Oh, that's much better. Look at that spot. So that's where I'm gonna drill. So I'm using a 3 8 tap for the bottle stopper. I'm gonna drill a 27, nope, correction, 21 uh, pilot hole. Now I've put this in my call it uh, chuck here. And this is a Morse taper collet holder. And that way I can uh, hold that a little easier. The nice thing about this mandrel is it does work in a drill chuck also. So I'm just put a little back pressure on it here with this. Get that snugged up and be good to go. I am gonna wear a face shield on this just in case this pup decides to let loose and Try to fly at my face. Now, one thing, <clears throat> put that up while I talk to you. One thing I've got to be real careful with this Mickey is the ears and the nose because it sticks way out. And as you can see, I didn't drill it exactly in the center because I was trying to center on the body. So I'm gonna have to take a few cuts, see where I'm at, take a few more. And this is gonna be way bigger than I probably would really want it. But since it's a trial, let's see how it works. I'll slow it down. Tighten up my tailstock a little bit. And I'm gonna use my uh, carbide tool here just to... That's the cut, that'll throw you for a loop. I meant to peel that off and I forgot. So actually I'm gonna take it off the chuck and pop that cup off before I start. So I'm gonna stop the camera for that. <laughs> okay, cup is off. Now we just have Mickey by himself. So let's get him back on the chuck, on the mandrel. Thank you. 
Well, as you can see, that looks really good. I'm gonna take it over to the sanding lathe and uh, polish this puppy up. So this came out pretty good. Um, lots of ribbons and flakes because it was alumalite. And one thing I love about alumalite is how it wraps around the mandrel and you have to constantly pick it off. It's so fun, but, but anyway, uh, it worked out really good. This, like I said before, this is kind of a tester. Uh, I did go through the back of this a little bit because the, Pez dispensers are so wide, you know, and you're just drilling a little tiny hole, you're gonna cut away some of it. So you may even wanna shape that before you glue it in, but I kinda thought that the ears and nose would be a problem and I was able to shape it without it being a problem. So it came out pretty good. And I didn't hit any of the nose or ears, which is what I was afraid of. The other thing was the bubbles. The other thing was the bubbles, and actually, it kind of adds a cool little thing to it. I mean, I'd prefer to not have the bubbles, but the way they came out right at the top of the head and then formed a little puddle of bubbles at the top, it looks like it was intentional, and it certainly was not. So to cover everything I used, I used a Pez dispenser, you know, probably $1.49. I probably used 25, 50 cents worth of resin. I used one plastic cup. The most expensive thing I used was the little mandrel. Those are like seven bucks. However, you can use them over and over again. And then the little bottle stopper here, I think these are like two or three bucks on turners. So, I mean, this thing costs to make, aside from the mandrel, maybe four bucks. And it's a really cool thing. It's a really cool gift. And I think I'm gonna experiment a little more with some of my other ones like Darth Vader, I think will be a really cool one. And I have even a couple other Pez dispensers that I haven't glued yet. So I did cast this in Alumalite with a pressure pot. I think you could use Alumalite or Liquid Diamonds very easily. I probably wouldn't use polyester for this. I think it'd be too brittle uh, when you're trying to do something like this. But Alumalite or, or Liquid Diamonds, perfect. So hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.